It's a photo of my dad and uh, playing goalie. A goalie on the field and in life. John Beretta is always encouraging, always a fighter. The will that he's had as an athlete. Even now in Tacoma General's ICU. Three blood transfusions, so, um, you know, which was, which was tough. Beretta played goalkeeper for the Tacoma Stars in the mid-80s, and as a coach, led Stadium High School to a state title. The 62-year-old middle school teacher suffered a traumatic brain injury when a car hit him as he crossed an intersection last Thursday. We're, you know, in fear of where things could go, um, but you know, with belief, um, you know, he's had small improvements each day. His son Chris spoke with us in the hospital chapel. They say faith and community support have carried them through. He is so influential on, with the kids. At Gray Middle School, kids returned his words of encouragement, writing messages on cutout stars staff will deliver to the hospital. And he's such a symbol of strength. Strength his own family has witnessed in the last 24 hours. Dad's breathing on his own, which is a huge milestone. And um, my mom, he's been able to squeeze her hand and open his eyes. Opening his family's eyes to what's important in life and how it's still possible to come from behind when all seems lost. We're all through hard work and just the relentless pursuit for um, not letting anyone tell you you can't do. In Tacoma, Alyssa Hahn, King 5 News. And even though Beretta was crossing at an intersection and had a walk sign, Tacoma police officers aren't sure that the driver will even be cited. That's because they say the driver had a green light and both Beretta and this driver did not see each other. TPD said pedestrians also have a responsibility to make sure that they can be seen.